Welcome to Boise, Idaho, where fans describe a home game in one way. We get them on the blue. And that typically means trouble for anyone who tangles with the Boise State Broncos. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the UNLV Rebels taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Boise State Broncos. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Rebels will boot it away to start the game. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Boise State Broncos offense takes the field. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead this offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. Stopped after making the catch. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Runs through a tackle. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Comes out throwing on first down. He's got his man. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking for space, it's Genty. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. They'll try to run for it. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. A strike downfield. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Movement here from the tight end. They'll run it from the gun. Discards a man. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. From the red zone, looking for a man. Got his man downfield.
that penalty is going to be a coaching point in position meetings this week. I mean, he is going to get an earful from the coaches on the sidelines. Snapped it in the shotgun. He makes the grab. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Broncos! I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TV. You got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Rebels' offense will go to work for the first time. This is just a great matchup to watch on the outside, and who can win downfield in the passing game? Man, this reminds me of 1997, Charles Woodson versus David Boston. Two physical athletes that are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe all game long. Yeah, two alphas, two guys that play the positions where you have to have such confidence, cornerback, wide receiver. Let's see this throwdown. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. You know, tackling is a lost art in college football. I'm sorry. you got to do a better job defensively there. Two, at least two different guys had a chance to bring him down and couldn't do it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to throw, it's Fernandez. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Throw him to the spot, and that's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. And that's so many hours of doing this together. You know exactly when he's going to break on that out route. You know what kind of speed he has because you've thrown it so many times. Nice rhythm and timing, and you could tell that was experience between receiver and quarterback. And frankly, if that's a completion, it's not going to make the end-of-season highlight reel. But in this game, it could lead to a highlight reel type play. The offensive coordinator may be setting something big up for later in the game. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. The play action fake. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And everybody knows when you're running that play action, that fake has to be great. Everybody has to bite it for it really to work. Defense didn't bite it, didn't bite the bait, went after the quarterback, got him on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Trying to get behind the defense. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll call for the fair catch here. Boise State ready to send out that offense. 
David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. After the incompletion, looking at second down. He's looking to throw. He finds his man. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Quarterbacks love the short passing game early in games because it really helps them get into a rhythm. So a nice job by the offensive coordinator giving his quarterback an easy throw, something he can see, and something that he knows he can complete. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Finds his man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. He's looking to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off, and he was throwing that puppy away. This offense has a second down play. They want to just keep throwing it, trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And I love playing man coverage on the back end. Getting those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long. You know a pass is coming. You worked on it all week. Get your feet set at the sticks. Understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. Get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and made. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Still on his feet at the 45. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. He's going to pass. Card in the backfield. It's Thomas. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? We've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. Line getting set on second down. Gonna run it. It's James. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter.
Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The Rebels have their offense in high gear. They'll run the option. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And the Rebels have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, UNLV. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle. He's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Smashes it through for the PAT. So that was a six-play, 75-yard drive. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Missed his receiver there, it's incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Now they'll run the draw. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. The Broncos will have it first and 10. He wants to throw. That's reeled in. It's Genty. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. To the ground, he's got it again. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Quarterback on the keeper. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. 
Fires on the move. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, they needed that one, and that took... And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. They think there's room to run to the right here. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. The RPO, it's complete. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. He'll throw on third down. Get it out on the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Well, the offense on third down there, they're just trying to spit the ball out quickly and see if they can get a block and get north. But the defense, really nice job getting after the catch, getting a tackle, and now setting up fourth down. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. kick it away he'll start the return inside his spot he was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18 UNLV ready to go back to work on offense on the run it's Thomas good solid determined run there they'll mark him down at the 27 you want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator you pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Back to pass, it's Fernandez. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. Yeah, nice coverage, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense and it's usually because of their lack of hands like you just saw they'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27 they'll try to move the chains on the ground the rebels pick up the first down well no real mystery there and i think this coaching staff has a lot of confidence in their offensive line to get the push needed to give that back just a big enough crease to fall forward and get the first. And it's so hard. My room for error is so small when I'm a defensive line. Like, I got to get off the ball as fast as I can and, and try to get some form of penetration. Just stop that ball from going north-south. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. And the Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up.
from the gun, the ground game. And you want to talk about gang tackling everybody on the defense, run to the ball. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. They're about to run a dirty half-dozen plays on this drive. Back to throw, it's Fernandez. He's got his man. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there down at the 43-yard line. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Trying to find his man on first down. Coming after him. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Off the play fake. He lobs one high down the left side. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough, third and long. They'll leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. Finds a tight end. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. On the run, fires downfield. He's got an open man. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back out. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This offense thought they had the defense reeling on its heels, but the D stands tall and comes up with a sack. Yeah, but why not, right? If I, if I make a big play, I got no problem going back to it. But the defense said, I got you. I understand what you're doing. I know you're going back to it. They were ready for it. They had the answer for it. And they got the QB and got his butt on the ground. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Boise for a fun first half than you? Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Albertson Stadium.
And the Broncos will kick it away to crank up the second half. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. They'll need to convert this third down from their own 22 to get this drive jump-started. To throw, it's Fernandez. They've got the screen set up. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Plays like that put just a second of hesitation in the defense to make sure, and they're able to take advantage here. And they use the great timing with this call, right? Like, you can't call this play all the time, but you want to catch them when they're a little bit aggressive, not thinking about it. Nice job slipping the screen behind them, making the easy catch, and then getting downfield, picking up some extra yards. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but... That usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the option. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man in the middle. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Throws for the tight end. Makes a connection. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. The Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Fires to the wide out. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. They put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, i got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. Looking to pass. It's Fernandez. Looking down the middle. It's caught. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll try the run. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15.
Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Touchdown, Rebels! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. The give to the back. Slips a tackle and he's got room. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. And that tackle almost certainly saved the touchdown after he ripped off a huge game. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach. You saw it on that play. Looking to go up top on first down. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. To the ground with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And that ball is picked off. Trying to take it back. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Some defensive players just have a knack. I've played with guys throughout the course of my career that you can't coach it. It's not speed. It's not strength. It's literally, I know when to break on the football, how to go get it, and how to pull it in. It's just a knack. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 42 to move the sticks. Looking for a man. It's Fernandez. And the sophomore just a little too much on that one. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man. Just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate. Make it easier on your target. And the Rebels send out the punt unit. The ball hit 
Stats at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. From the gun, running back gets the give. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Looking for a gap. It's Genty. At the 45 on his way. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. The Broncos are on the move. They'll give it to him again. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Leaves it with the back. Can't get him to the ground. And they'll move the chains with the first down. That might be it for the third quarter. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys. And they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And the Broncos will snap it on first and ten. Leaves it with the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Feeling some heat. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Interesting call here for the head coach, too, because you need a touchdown. Now it's fourth and long. You could kick the field goal and cut into the lead, but it depends on how much you trust your defense right now. They may go for this one, guys. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And he's got it from 57. What a beauty. And that's massive. All the pressure on your defense now. You've made the field goal. You've got to get the ball back. You need one more kick. That's what you need. And so the defense has to be ready to take the field right now, play with intensity, play with energy, and get it back to the offense quickly. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. 
UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Takes a handoff, and he's going right. And it wasn't lack of effort by the running back. He was trying. You could tell he fought one guy off, but another guy in his face right away, just trying to do something. The offensive line needs to do a better job keeping some guys off this guy. Come on, man. Take care of your running back. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Fernandez. He finds a soft spot in the middle. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes, get those first downs, get those big chunks. The give to the tailback. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? After picking up a couple at second and eight, he'll do it himself. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Caught close to the marker, it's James. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. And with the lead late in this game, how about going play action? The run fake just freezes the defenders for a split second, helps make the throw a whole lot easier. They get the first down, and tick, 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 tick. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Fernandez. Got him downfield. Good execution. They moved the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. And they did everything right in this four-minute type situation, trying to bleed the clock. First, you get the completion. Then you get the first down, and you stay in bounds. You could not execute that play any better. The Rebels with the first and ten. The option look. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. From the 17-yard line, it's first and ten. Looking to pass inside the red zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Good job in coverage defending their own end zone there because you're trying to compress these windows and make it tough for the quarterback. And they were able to tip that one up in the air. And obviously it falls incomplete. Now inside four minutes to go here on second down. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job staying home by the defense there. Offense trying to go option. The QB keeps it, but you see the great assignment football. Everybody's staying where they're supposed to be, and they're able to rally to the quarterback and tackle him for a loss. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. Got a man. It's Thomas. 
And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. This is one of those unique situations in a game as a head coach. You're trying to feel the momentum. And what's your confidence in your quarterback? Because you've got fourth. You're in field goal range. But you've got the weapons to get one more completion and ice this thing. So do you kick the field goal or do you go for it? And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. From the gun, the running back has it. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. He's looking to throw. He had that one slip to the ground, and if he had held on, that might have been a wrap. Instead, it'll be third down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TD so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Another incompletion on third down. I know they've got all their timeouts left, but it feels like this is the ball game right here. Fourth down, the quarterback's got to do something special, knowing that they need a touchdown here to win. Down late in a four-point game, they'll keep the offense on the field on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. He's got him, and they convert. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. The defense comes up with a really big stop there. That's nice. They don't give up the first down, so the clock keeps working. But they're on their own end of the field. They know this offense is going to start taking shots into the end zone. They better have some guys ready on the back end, ready to swat some balls away and make some plays. Makes the catch. It's Genty. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. What a great job by the quarterback working through his progressions here. In a two-minute situation, he doesn't force it down the field if it's not open. Check it down to your back. Let him go to work, and he comes up with a huge play. The clock is relentlessly working against them. Down four. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. 
We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the Brain Trust will go to work. He'll set up to throw. Got his man on the right. Timeout called by the offense. 29 seconds left on the clock. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. Touchdown, Broncos! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And what a late touchdown in the final minute that is likely the game winner here. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. To the air, it's Fernandez. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Offense uses a timeout. 17 seconds left on the clock. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Quickly out to the tight end. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. He's looking for a man on second down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Thomas. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And the Rebels come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. He'll take a shot. And that one is picked up in the end zone. 